and then we get some water. Now just a note on water. The best water I find to use if you've got a tank, so a rainwater tank is the best we can, we can use. It needs a very high mineral content type of water. Tap water can be used. If you use tap water and you're not concerned about fluoride, chlorine is an issue. Most tap waters have about 5 ppm chlorine, which can damage the culture because it's an anti antibiotic product. Hence, to get rid of the chlorine, you've got some options. You can boil the water and cool it down, or simply leave the water open overnight, and that flushes out chlorine. So some tips. I would stick to the ones that we recommend, which is spring water, rain water, tap water. Filtered water is not recommended when you're first starting out. The reason why is because, as I mentioned earlier, water kefir needs a very rich mineral environment. We want to give lots of minerals, and these are these things that have evolved in high mineral conditions. You could use filtered water down the track, but only experiment if you have some spare grains to play with, because you can add things like dried fruit, like sultanas, make sure they're preservative free, dates, figs, molasses, little bit of Himalayan salt, you could boost the mineral content to a point. But as a beginner, I want you to give, a, give you a fail-safe way to make it that's going to be consistent. And then once you've got spare, because this thing grows. <laughs> Has anybody grown water kept, tried a water kefir before? It died. <laughs> you look after these babies. I've had people, you know, in a couple of days. If you follow these steps, these grains are fastidious. I've spent months in the lab developing these grains. And I've, I think we've got it right, hey, Mum? Tell them how fast it grows. <laughs> That's my mum there. <laughs> so you fill up to 